All right. What's going on in the world of marijuana, Robin? What do we well, got going on? Well, a Florida woman, of course, a Florida woman, was upset that she'd been shorted in a pot deal. So she dialed 911 from outside her dealer's home to report being ripped off. A move that wasn't so smart. It resulted in her arrest on a pair of criminal charges. Erin Klitsch told a cop that she called the police because she was buying marijuana and was shorted by the people inside of Fort Myers home. Klitsch reported that she sought to purchase a seven gram bag of marijuana for seventy five dollars. After a Fort Myers Police Department officer arrived at the scene, uh, Klitsch was again on the phone with the 911 operator. She hung up the phone at the cop's direction, but dialed 911 again when warned by the officer she was misusing 911. She refused to hang up the phone, prompting oh her arrest. While cops waited for a female officer to come to the scene to search her, officers found a clear plastic baggie containing suspect marijuana lodged between the seat where Klitsch was sitting I have to say, this is just me saying, in her defense, the pot that they found weighed 5.4 grams, not the seven that so she, she was, was right. supposed to she get. So she was right. She was getting ripped so off. She was right, but sometimes you just got to suck it up, okay? She smoked two of the grams. Yeah, maybe that was it. <laughs> she was waiting yeah. for 911. Yeah. Now, this next story has been all over the news, but it was just too good not to include in the Stoner Report, so I had to. Austintown, Ohio police were called to a home by a man who complained he was too high after smoking marijuana. See, I get that. That can happen. The officer who responded to the home could hear the man groaning from a room. He then found the man lying on the floor in the fetal position. He was surrounded by Doritos, Pepperidge Farm goldfish, and Chips Ahoy cookies. The man told police he couldn't feel his hands. They found a glass (laughs) pipe with marijuana residue, two packs of rolling papers, two roaches, and a glass jar of marijuana in his car. So I guess um, he did smoke too much. Well, see, here's what I think. He did decline medical treatment. The real crime here, and probably what made him feel so awful, would be in my opinion, the Doritos, the Pepperidge Farm Goldfish, and the Chips Ahoy <laughs> that's Cookies. What, that's what did it. That that's pushed him over the top. That pushed him over the top. It does explain the moaning. It could explain <laughs> the moaning, and that's the Stoner Report.